Hello again, my friends, and welcome back to another Recorder Remote lesson. This is lesson four today, and we are going to be building our note knowledge. Now, for this week, we are going to dig deeper into notes and learn a few more so we can play a wider variety of songs. Let's get started. So here are the notes that we already know. Our first slide shows C, G, A, B, and D. Pause the video right here and practice running through these notes a few times without squeaking and using good posture. And when you are ready, press play and we'll keep going. And here are the other three notes that we have mastered so far. Again, press play, practice running through them a few times, and when you are ready, we'll keep going. All right, ready for more? We're gonna start this lesson with two note variations. Let's talk about the note that we're familiar with first. The first note that we are familiar with is F. You know how to play this one. We have practiced it before. This should be familiar. But what I want to talk to you today is about F sharp. This is a note variation, and if you look up at the top left hand of your screen, you'll see what it looks like if you ever are to find it in a song. The first thing you're going to do is take your thumb on your left hand and cover up the thumb hole. Then you're going to cover the first, the second, the third, and on your right hand, you will use your middle finger, the second finger, and your third finger. That's it. Practice now switching in between F and F sharp to see if you can hear the difference. When you're ready, press play and we'll keep going. The next variation I want to talk to you about is B. This is the note that you're familiar with, B. And this is what it looks like on the musical staff, right up here. If you remember, your first finger, your thumb, and that's it. Okay, but now let's talk about B flat. This is what it will look like if you were to ever see it on a musical staff that you're reading. Your thumb, your first finger, your third finger, and your first finger of your right hand. Okay, when you're ready, pause the video, practice playing these notes and switching between B and B flat. And then once you feel that you've mastered it, press play and we will learn some brand new notes together. Okay, now for something completely new. The first brand new note that we're gonna learn to play today is C. Not low C where you have all the joint holes covered, but a higher C. You can see it what it will look like on the musical staff up on the top left of your screen. To play C, you actually only need two fingers. You'll use your thumb on the back, just like usual, but you will also use your second finger to cover the second joint hole. Pause the video and practice playing this note until you feel comfortable. When you're ready, press play and we'll move on. The next note we'll talk about is E. This E is especially high and it's all the way up at the top of the staff. You will cover the back with your thumb but this time you're only going to cover half the hole. This can be tricky. So look at the back of your recorder and practice using your thumb to cover half of the hole. You don't wanna to cover too much or too little because then it might get squeaky. This note is going to require some practice, which is why I saved it for last. And then on the front, you are going to cover the first, the second, the third, 
with your left hand, and with your right hand, you will cover with your first finger and your second finger, leaving the two sets of double joint holes open. This is a tricky one because you are going to have to cover half of the hole where your thumb goes instead of the entire hole. Pause the video, practice this until you feel comfortable, and when you're ready, press play and we'll move on together. Now let's talk about our practice for this page. What you're going to do is you're going to check out our s'more page for a printable sheet. And on that printable sheet, you will find all the notes that we have learned so far. It's a handy dandy reference, reference guide for when you are practicing your songs for this week. I also, on our s'more page, have some brand new songs for you to learn and practice. Next week, just to give you a hint of what's coming, you're going to have the chance to share your progress with me. You'll be able to record a video of all the hard work you have done and share it with me so I can see all the amazing practicing you've been doing. That'll be next week. So this week, pick a song that's your favorite and practice, practice, practice. I will see you next time, my friends. I hope that you enjoy today's lesson. Goodbye.